no objection also. I'm told left. Uh, is it general now? General Gininda. Brigadier Gininda. Is it a general now? Brigadier. Brigadier. Brigadier sorry. Gininda. I'm told he's writing exams. In indeed, my lord. And um, before recess, we gave the my, my colleagues um, his um, timetable and the dates on which um, he'll be um, available. And. Um, before he testifies, we will also uh, apprise the court of those um, dates. And that's basically, my lord, um, next week, the, the, the 14th, 16th, 26th of October. 14th, 16th. 14th, 16th, 26th October, 2024. He'll be sitting for exams on those dates. Mm. Then 12th. 20, 25 November. Mm. You'll also be sitting for exams on those days. So uh, I suggested to my colleagues subject to the court approval that we can therefore sit until Friday, the, the 11th of October. Yeah. Then 17 to 24 October. To 25? Yeah, 17 to 24 October. Oh, okay. He's right. Yeah, he's writing on the twenty-six. Uh, then um, twenty-eight October to eleven November, and thirteen to fifteen November. Yes. Th th those are the. Uh, Is he here? Um, he he is um, at, at his office, my lord. He had prepared to, to, to testify tomorrow. So um, he'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, because in fairness, if a person is writing such important exams, why should they be not allowed to write properly? person is writing, or is he writing LLB? Yes, this is right. And he sits today, tomorrow, he gives evidence, and then he gives evidence, he sits for the exams, and he doesn't study. Do you think it's fair? Indeed, my lord, we don't think it's fair. And his fa it's his final year, yeah, which is you know very yeah. crucial. My view is that it can't be fair. I don't want to be problematic, I don't want to be problematic, but this, I just can't let it go. Who told Judge Rata? that Brigadier Gininda is writing exams. Who told him? Because he arrived with the knowledge, but Gininda is not there. He's not there because he said, is he, where is he? And Baloi kind of ran away from the answer. And then he says he's in his office, but he's going to testify tomorrow. That means they could have done it today if Baloi wanted. Babaloi is, you know what? It's just dominus. He's not interested, okay? He's, he was in a foul mood yesterday. It's just not looking good for him. He was in a foul mood. Captain Dini really, really ruined it for the state. But it's just not leaving my mind. Judge Ratter literally says, I'm told General Kininda, first of all, I don't know who's telling you he's a general. He's not. But and then they correct him and he says it again. I'm told General Gininda, and that is why when Ungo Mezulu said Brigadier Gininda, what did Judge Rata say? Who only to discover he thinks he's a general this whole time, so he holds him with such high regard in his ranking, and he even knows his, his exam schedule, or should I say that he's writing exams? How did he know? How did he know ahead of time that he had exams? I'm not being problematic. Or maybe they spoke about it in chambers. Maybe I'm, I'm the problem. Maybe I'm just looking for drama. But he was prepared to tell us and make a motion, okay, an application that Geninda can be excused from being a witness. And, you know, at this one, he's willing to ride on it. He's willing to tell the JP, we are closing shop until next year. 
22 January 2025. Wow, guys, the year has ended. We're literally at the end of the year. But let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. Did Judge Rata know ahead of time because Baloi kind of whispered in his ear or there was a meeting over there in the chambers? Or did the JP come tell him? Who told him? And I'm only curious because he put this information out there. Like I, I wouldn't have asked if he didn't put it out there, you know. I'm not, I'm not trying to be problematic on Beyonce's internet, okay? But who told him? That is really what is such a sticking point to me. I actually had to come back and watch this clip again. Because I was like, wait a minute. How did he know? But Loy didn't say he's writing exams. It's Judge Rata who said he's writing exams and it's so unfair. It is so unfair for you guys to expect him to be able to study for his exams and then when he's done studying and then on some days he's here testifying and then he goes back to writing his exams unless of course he's an intelligent guy or the LLB is now so easy. I just have those particular questions in mind. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on that. Let's continue listening to the rest and uh, I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. But I'll converse your views also. Yes. Mr. Gomez, what do you think? Here is a, a colleague who's <coughs> writing final LLB exams. He's supposed to give evidence in drips and draps because he must also study and sit for exams. My yeah. Lord, I was sharing the same with uh, my colleague, Mr. Ramsey that the person that is going to write exams then attends court. So there's no full concentration in, in the, when he's writing those exams. So I'm not sure if the court is inclined to, to stand the matter until he finishes. No, no, fine, I hear you. I'll, I'll hear from him, maybe he's a genius. Maybe he's a genius. Yeah, he exams, it's just simple exams. Then does it need any time off? Hi. God pleases. Mr. Ramsey, what's your view? Uh, as the court pleases, man, the same sentiment with Mr. Munisi, that perhaps he's intelligent if he's not asking for time to prepare. Yeah. Yes, sir. Which is the territory? The it's territory a, is the a, cleverness or the what? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a volent non fit in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. When, 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 you, when, you, when, you, when you know that you are involved in a particular field, mm. then you will have to make, uh, you will have, uh, have to make do with what you have. Uh, yes. My okay. Let's hear Mr. Nguma. I think we'll hear from him. Hello? We'll hear from him. Tomorrow. No, no, we want your view first. I, I, can't, I can't answer for him. No, you're not answering for him. You're answering for yourself. You, yeah. if you were supposed to do what Mr. I mean, Brigadier Geninda is supposed to do, would you say it's fair? It won't be fair. Hello? It's, it's not fair. My Lord, it will depend on the study leave that he has been granted at work. If he has been granted study leave for the duration of uh, these dates, then he cannot be expected to testify, my Lord. Uh, no, it's, for, it's about testifying. He testifies today, he gives evidence tomorrow, two days pass, he testifies again. That's what they're telling me, this is what's going to happen. My Lord, unless the witness, if he says he can't, yeah, fine. We'll hear from what he says. Yes. I'm just saying, it just strikes me. For the fairness sake, my lord, it would be fair for a brigadier yeah. to come and testify. Yeah. Because he's brigadier. Yes. Okay, we'll hear from him. But that's my view that it, it sounds a tad unfair. What do you think? Well, I I indeed, we, we agree. Um, it, it has been a battle to 
get him to, you know, to avail himself for consultation because of, you know, assignments and exams and preparing for exams. Uh, and I foresee that um, it, it will be for him um, a bit of an uphill struggle okay. to, to focus on the case and, and okay. also study for the exams. Uh, sympathetic. Unless maybe LLB exams are no longer difficult. I see, I see there are people who just get them. You phone for there. <laughs> they post the, the certificate to you. <laughs> Have you heard that? Well, Have you heard that? Yes. I don't want to get accountable. <laughs> I, I know certain instances that might be the first question. Yeah, fine. My prediction is that tomorrow, well, today at the time when you're watching this, is that that is the last session that is going to be the last session judge rota is going to make an exceptional ruling on compassionate grounds of a fellow colleague writing an llb and they will return next year on the 22nd of january 2025 that's my prediction this is this this is the end of the Zenzo Mewa trial for now. So hold, mark my words, mark my words. Okay, we'll come back to them after session tomorrow. That's what I predict, and I predict the reason I say that is because there has been a lot of noise in the media, aka Patricia Mashale has been whistle blowing. No, she hasn't been whistle blowing. No, 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 whistle's too small. She's been blowing a trumpet. And I don't know if I can say the timing was off or this this is impacted or made them super nervous and, you know, there's too much, but Geninda, 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 this, Geninda doesn't have this, Geninda did this. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Patricia Mashala is wrong. I'm saying, has it impacted what is happening with the case? And Brigadier is trying to clean up, okay, clean up everything before taking the stand with the Senzo Miwa trial. And what a more perfect time than to be writing exams. And then there's the December holiday, okay, the holiday that everybody is taking. And then court resumes in January. I, that's, that's where I think we're at. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Is this in the interest of justice? Absolutely not. It's in the interest of Brigadier Gininda and his exams. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. What would, have, what would have been different if the information that is out there, the alleged information that is out there about Brigadier Gininda had come out after he took the stand? When was the right time for that information to come out? It's a general question. I'm not fighting. That's it from me today. Thanks so much for watching. I will definitely be back with more updates. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload. I remember I told you I was going to check how many people who are not subscribed are watching the channel. We have improved. It's 55%. Okay. If 55% of the people that are not subscribed but watching, imagine that. Imagine somebody is watching but refusing to subscribe. If 55% of you could subscribe 55 percent could literally take us read real close real close to a hundred thousand subscribers oh my goodness that would be epic that would be epic i can't even visualize that but if that was to happen i would be one very happy youtuber wow receiving the youtube plaque Woo! I would lose my mind. That is it for me today. Remember to do the things that make me happy. Go ahead, like the channel, subscribe, comment, stop watching from outside the club, share the videos. I absolutely love it when you do. And if you want to buy me coffee after all the hard work I do, you know what to do. Hit that dollar sign there. It's inside the heart. You just tap it over there and you say, here's a cup of coffee, girlfriend. Here's a cup of coffee. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next upload. What? Thanks for watching. Catch up next time.